Guys, the Allfather here with uh, our next war recap, and we're going to go a little more in depth this time, uh, taking a look at some of the attacks and the strategies, and drawing out why uh, a particular strategy was used and why it worked well. And so, because of that, we'll split it into two parts, and we'll do the TH9s in one and the TH8s in the other. This will be the TH9 version of it. But as you can see, this was a really close war, a decent clan uh, to go against. They had, let's see, 94 wins, so approaching 100 wins, and they fought really well, and we had to be on our A game in order to win this one, which we were, so great job to everybody. We're going to go ahead and get into some of the three-star attacks that we had, starting with number six here. And this is a base that I attacked and going to bring basically a Go Weho. And with this type of base design, and anytime you're doing a Go Weho, um, a couple things that you notice um, is first of all, we have to deal with the Archer Queen and we also have to deal with the Clan Castle. Notice that it's kind of that four box layout, and so we want to attack the box that is. Uh, closest in proximity to those two areas because those are the two things we have to deal with to get um, out of the way before we can launch any sort of hog portion. And so with our golems, um, we're going to come in uh, from this angle here and actually just pretty much straight up the gut. And uh, what you'll see there is uh, two golems, they'll go in there, they'll do all the tanking for those defenses, the queen. They'll trigger that clan castle, and all of the action is going to take place kind of right in here. And uh, so what we will see is the golems will go in, break the wall down here, and then a jump spell right about in here uh, will give us access to the queen, and our enemy BK will go ahead and take her out. Followed up by a, a wizard kill squad to go ahead and get some DPS in there. Once that's taken care of, uh, from prior attacks, we know that we have bombs uh, in front of every single one of these air defenses. So what they're trying to do is prevent you from hogging their air defense and then going with an air attack. And so they put the giant bombs all in there, spread out. And so to defuse that, we'll just send giants in to each one of those locations. They'll go ahead and defuse those bombs before the hogs get there. And then you'll see the flanked hogs, about 12 on each side, coming in behind the kill squad here and taking care of each little pocket of defenses. And then everything will kind of make its way into the core and then funnel back up to the remaining defenses, which you'll see up there. There's only one point defense with that archer tower. Uh, Tesla location is pretty obvious here with these boxes. And so that's the plan. So let's go ahead and see how that all plays out. Starting at the bottom again, even with those air defenses outside the golems, do attach onto the cannons first, break the wall, just a couple whiz there to create the funnel to make sure everything goes where we want it. Uh, we want to make sure that the heroes dive into the middle because they're responsible for taking out the clan castle and the enemy archer queen. Jump spell there accesses the enemy queen. The golems go ahead and take that. And the golems will go down because they'll get dropped on pretty heavy here, but that's okay. They've done their job. And uh, the poison spell slows everything down. Heal spell just to keep everything up. Now you see those giants are going in already. Hogs were a little early there because the giant did not trip that bomb, so that was a little bit of a mistake. Um, then the heal spell is going to go ahead and go right in there as they approach the middle. Second uh, wave of giants is in. They go ahead and they're tripping all the giant bombs on those locations while the hogs come in. Hogs run into heals in the middle. Everything starts meeting up in the core. And... Almost every defense is down. There's several skellies running around after the hogs. Uh, no heals, no poison spell left to take them out, but this kill squad kind of helps deal the damage to them. All the defenses go down. Skellies are the last thing down, and then it's just a matter of cleaning up all of the uh, resource 
buildings and things. And so we'll go ahead and 4 exit to the end of that, but you can see there's just a ton of the hogs lived. Most of the kill squad lived. Heroes are still up. Tons of max wizards running around. And pretty easy three star on that number six base. Next, we're going to take a look at uh, this attack from Mountain Dew Maniac, uh, who is a Town Hall 9.5, so has the five spell uh, capacity there, five regular elixir spell, and uh, brings a really interesting strategy here, really great idea. I have no idea where he got the idea to do this attack from. You may want to ask him where he got such a great idea from for this kind of an attack. Um, but we're going to go ahead and see an air attack, and to see why that's a good idea, obviously we see a lot of exposed air defenses. And um, besides that, we have a very low level one here, which is a level five, and we have rather odd locations for air sweepers right here pointing in instead of out. Usually you want to blow things away from them. They're blowing in. So really ineffective there. We have two expos set to ground, so they're not going to be any issue for an air attack. And so really all we need to be worried about is these inside air defenses. Well, as a Town Hall 9.5 with those five spell capacity, or 11 total basically, he has the luxury of bringing the uh, Light Quake option times two. And so two Lightning and a Quake on that one, two Lightning and a Quake on that one, eliminates it down to only two air defenses left. Uh, also has pretty decent level heroes, and so he's going to drop, uh, you'll see a BK up here on this one, and an Archer Queen's going to go ahead and take this one out. And once that's all done, he's basically dismantled the air defense of the base. The only other thing that's really going to be an issue for air troops would be a queen, which we only have a level one queen here. And so then we'll just see kind of your standard dragoon funnel coming in here with dragons coming around here, backed up by loons. And everything's just going to flow through a base, just kind of like a town hall seven or eight dragon attack. So let's go ahead and watch how that all goes down. But again, you see the spell combination, four lightning, two quake. He's just going to systematically uh, disable this base's air defense. There's one, there's the other, they're down, we're down to two air defenses. Uh, level 15 BK, he's got some high hit point uh, storages to beat through there with the gold storages. Queen's on the bottom, she's going to have a little easier time because she's ranged and only has some elixir mines and stuff to get through. Uh, but she'll go ahead and easily take that out. Uh, BK is going to need his ability because he's being targeted by the uh, X-Bow as well as the cannon and the archer tower. But you can just see how beefy and tanky he is. He's able to take that. And he gets his job done. Uh, so you got kind of a suicide BK on that one. You got suicide queen on the other one, level 21. She's also going to go ahead and take out some whiz towers, which is going to help uh, the loons as they work their way through the base. And again, she's pretty much done her job. So kind of a suicide attack with the heroes. Um, but that's all that they needed to accomplish. Clan Castle Dragon comes out. Clan Castle Loons are not going to come out because there's no more ground troops to worry about. And so a handful of drags, eight or so, plus Clan Castle and targeted Loons are just going to start working through the rest of the defenses in this base. He just starts dropping them all, all around the base. And you see he's got one haste spell left because of the spread nature of the base. Uh, the only real threat is potentially timing out, which really wasn't much of a threat. But uh, you do want to be able to move those slow troops through the base quickly at the right time. Um, you'll see he chooses to do that right at the core um, to get those loons moving to the final defenses and taking them out. Drags are sped along there. Doesn't increase their damage, but does get them moving faster. Everything's gone. And you can see he lost maybe one dragon in the whole raid. I think there's probably seven left, a ton of loons. And just overpowered for this base. So I uh, took advantage of a poor base design that was not well uh, designed to go against an air attack. So again, really nice job there, Dew. I'd really love to know where you got the ideas to do that attack from, uh, if that's something you thought of all by yourself or what, but uh, brilliant idea, and uh, hopefully we'll see some more bases like that in the future. Next Town Hall 9 we're going to take a look at is this one, and we had several attempts at this one. Uh, one of our players' uh, first attack was a 99% because of this little guy down here. If you can see him uh, in that bed of flowers down there is that lonely little builder hut 
And that was the culprit that uh, required us to take about six or seven attacks at this guy. Uh, but this was the winner, the final one. And um, a couple things that we noticed about this base is uh, we know this from the previous attacks. And obviously from pre-scouting, you would be concerned about double giant bombs here and here. Um, because this is going to be a ground-based hog attack. The nice thing is we have a queen on an outer wall, which is not ideal. You want to bury your heroes. You see how she jumps the wall there uh, as she's guarding. She's going to go ahead and jump that wall as soon as she sees a troop. And a BK is going to be able to go in and bop her on the head really easily. And so all we really have to worry about then on the inside, you know, we've got pretty obvious Tesla locations here. Uh, double giant bombs there, and that would leave only Tesla here and... Oh, there's got to be another hole. It's probably right in here um, for that Tesla there. And so really all we need to do is worry about getting the queen, the clan castle, and negating the giant bomb locations. And so what you're going to see here the dead wizard does is we bring about four hogs into lure. They're going to go ahead and hit this archer tower, take it out, and then their next path is going to be to that cannon, uh, thereby tripping one of the giant bombs there. So we've eliminated one double giant bomb set. Uh, next uh, lure clan castle, drag them out to the corner using a standard witch barb whiz kill squad anchored by two golems, one up here and one down here to go ahead and get the attention of the queen. Uh, so the kill squad is going to go ahead and take the queen out and the golem is going to go in here, take out this defense, take out this defense and then work his way down this channel where he's going to go ahead and trip that that second set of double giant bombs. And once that is accomplished, all the threats to hogs have been eliminated, and the hogs can come in. And what we'll see is a single drop from the top. And if you look at how the hogs are going to path, they're going to come in here. Then they're going to come in here. And then, like I said, there's Tesla here, Tesla here. And so here's where you're going to get just a natural hog split. And they're just going to start splitting and going their ways and keeping them healed uh, all along the ways uh, with good heal spell placement. You just right here, right here, kind of in here, and in here. So heal spells can cover a majority of the base, and from there uh, it's just a matter of letting everything do its work. So let's go ahead and take a look and watch this attack. Again, Initial dismantling of the double giant bomb set down here from the left, taking out that archer tower. Moving on to the cannon next and tripping one of the two giant bombs there. So part A is done. Single hog goes ahead and accomplishes the lure. Got a nice safe spot. Throwing, uh, it's a downside of if you're going to throw huts and unprotected buildings outside as you leave an anchor spot for a clan castle kill. And so if you're going to do something like that, that's what you're opening yourself up to. Uh, witches, Barbs, and Wiz in the clan castle, backed up by the Archer Queen. Dragon's distracted by the Skellies. He's down already. And you see the Golems are in already. Queen is locked onto the Golem. King sees that. He goes ahead and takes her out while she's not even paying attention. And just a couple of these defenses to go down. And the Golem's going to go ahead and redirect down that channel. Wall breakers kind of bust in and get things distracted and dealing with some of those other defenses. And here that golem goes, trips one, trips the second giant bomb. I think maybe only lost one wizard, and now the hogs are in because all the threats to the hogs are eliminated. And again, you see that hog pathing is pretty uh, right on. They go in, they start the split, they're going to do another split here. And they're in heals the whole time while they're dealing with those splash, da splash damage whiz towers. And then it's just a matter of keeping them healed the whole time. We do know that there is that one giant bomb still left over there. Um, but you're going to see here they do not path to that cannon first. Their that closest building is the expo, and so they do go down there. So that heal spell did not prevent them from hitting the giant bomb spot. A uh, nice poison spell there right at the end is going to take care of the skellies and the BK. And you see running back through it, the skellies end up going down. They do hit that giant bomb, but they had enough health that it didn't kill the pack. And everything is down other than that BK. Look at both golems are still alive. The queen is at full health, has not used her ability. And the raid from there is pretty much over, including that little builder hut down at the bottom, which has been destroyed. All right, moving on, we have Awesome Sauce here against number 10 base. You can see pretty low level, entry level Town Hall 9 here. 
Um, we have a level one archer queen and some very new defenses there. Um, but this is kind of, again, one of those two plus strategies, those two plus star strategy approaches uh, that I had talked about in a previous video that it's recently been uploaded. Um, but basically what we're looking at here is just taking in kind of a standard uh, go wipe army and trying to come in from this approach. And the goal here is that they're going to take out the heroes in the clan castle and get the core taken out. Uh, where you can see potentials for giant bombs and double giant bombs. I mean, all of that is all over in here. And none of it is over here. So the idea with that is, is this area is going to be handled by hogs. This area in here is going to be handled by your go wipe or your kill squad. Assuming the hogs do their job on that end, all of the air defense is going to be down, at which point uh, Awesome Sauce goes ahead and drops some targeted loons in here and here. And they go ahead and target some of these defenses. And then you can just see the logical progression because, you know, the hogs are faster uh, than the kill squad. So the kill squad is going to be in the middle. The hogs are going to be working their way around the edge. The loons are a little bit slower, and so everything's just going to kind of congregate and meet up together towards the back end of the base, and then they'll curl around and finish everything up over here. And so you'll see just a nice progression of using kind of this hybrid army composition to take care of a bunch of different things. Go ahead and watch it in action. And there's not going to be any lure here. Uh, but what we do see here is the funnel being created down at the bottom by minions. Uh, there is no air targeting defenses that can reach over there, so the minions go ahead and create the funnel cheaply on that side without using wizards. Wizards go on the right side, and you see the queen did jump the wall, so the BK goes in right away, and he is going to, once he decides he's done going after dark elixir storages, he'll go ahead and take that queen out, which he does right there finally. And the P.E.K.K.A.s are there, and the funnel's been created, so it'll go to the middle. Jump spell there is going to give everything access to the core and the enemy BK. Followed by the queen there. Everything's going up the gut right where it's supposed to. And kind of a slow proceeding attack, and uh, just a matter of waiting for the right timing for everything. Clan Castle does finally trip. The heroes are out of the way. There's a few defenses firing, but goes ahead and drops the poison spell there to slow up the dragon and the loon followed by a Rage and a Heal. Um, so early spell drop there to keep everything alive and getting that portion. Once that's in and they're in the core, the hogs start coming in, and the layout of the defenses is such that they're just going to stay on the side and stay out of danger of any sort of giant bombs and flip traps and those kind of things. They go ahead and the loons are already in because the hogs have taken care of that last air defense. And again, like you see... Um, on the pre-scout or the pre-planning there, uh, everything meets up in that back corner. And all the DPS and all the tanking is all together there, working through through those final defenses and works together really nicely. Uh, hogs go ahead. There's a non-maxed out giant bomb there, so they live through that, which allows them to go ahead and take out the rest of the defenses. Now, if they hadn't for some reason, that was a level 3 giant bomb, you see those loons were following right behind them and would have been able to take them out. And so everything's taken down, uh, really nice, uh, just all the troops working together. Uh, they do have to circle back to the back corner there where everything, all those buildings were left, and uh, they do the cleanup in a real quick fashion. And our last Town Hall 9 base is number 11, attacked by the Dumbest. And uh, what you'll see here is uh, a couple flaws that this entire clan had in their base. Now they did have some tricky things. They threw some Teslas in the corners and this and that to try to throw us off a little bit and it did throw off some of the first attackers sometimes. Um, but what you notice right away about this base is there are no double giant bomb spots in the middle. None whatsoever. So that already screams hogs. Um, so obviously we want to take a look at a hog approach. Um, so with that said, what we have is we have to deal with clan castle, we have to deal with queen. Uh, again, common flaw with base design uh, from this clan is, is 
uh, queen especially, but heroes on the outside. See, BK's on the outside too, a little less important. But that queen's on the outside, so she's easily uh, manageable with a kill squad there. And so uh, I believe in this case we might have a Tesla in the corner and maybe in this opposite corner here uh, with some giant bombs next to those Teslas. So again, they did have some quirky little things. Um, and then I believe you got obviously some remaining Tesla spots in the middle by the town hall. And so inside of the base itself, there's really no threat to hogs. Um, but there are some quirky things on the outside to kind of try to throw it off. Um, but basically all he's got to do is deal with the queen and the clan castle. And so uh, he does just do a standard lure, drag, and kill. And uh, then what we're going to see is a uh, quad quake into this area here uh, with his kill squad here, uh, flanked by his hogs coming in behind. And everything's going to kind of work together and go ahead and take this base out. So let's see how he does it. And you see the army composition, he's got the golem there, he's got uh, 23 hogs. I think it's probably hogs in the clan castle, but I'm not sure. It could be a two golem as well. Um, but you see, he goes ahead and does his quad quake right away. I like that. You know where you're going to put it, get it out of the way. Um, but you see there, Tesla in the back there, he goes ahead and pops the Tesla and the giant bomb. Um, uses his giant then to tank the Tesla and take it out with a wizard. Meanwhile, while that's already happening, he's got his hogs working in on that cannon. And they're going to take out a defense, and here they get the lure accomplished. And, by the way, the giant trips a second giant bomb. And so all that action for very few troops, really, uh, has already accomplished a clan castle lure and triggered two giant bombs and taken out two defenses. So really nice there. Uh, poison spell goes ahead and does that. Misses that second loon. Um, not a ton of value there um, for that, but does go ahead and weaken those troops and get one loon out of the way. It's going to barb walk everything out to the edge there. Pretty dangerous. It's close to the rest of those defenses, and you see those defenses take it down. Um, and so not the greatest clan castle kill. He's going to end up having to do it on the fly. Does bring a clan castle golem as well. Creates his funnel with the whiz, but it's going to take a lot of wizards and whatnot, and they're going to he's going to lose a lot trying to get this clan castle down. Um, so could have been a little more effective on the CC kill. Does cloak the queen, and she goes ahead and takes care of business there. Um, and now he's got his kill squad flowing into the base with a couple of heal spells left due to the quad quake. But he's opened up access for his kill squad to do some damage. And again, the hogs are coming in right behind everything uh, to start taking out and clearing a path for them. And from here, it's just a matter of managing heal spells, uh, which he does here on the back side of the base. He's only got two, so he's got to kind of use them just at the right spots. He's going to wait till they're on the back side of the base and use them in each of the corners, uh, which he does there. And golems are all the way all the way through the base, helping to tank some of those single target defenses. So that works out really nicely. Um, and the hogs go ahead and take care of the rest. He's got his queen ended up running around the outside of the building, which works just fine because she stays out of the heat of the battle and goes into cleanup mode. And so sometimes that queen walk is an intentional strategy. Usually it's just what she tends to do all by herself these days. But again, there you see uh, Tesla in the corner. All the hogs did not get there at the same time, and so that giant bomb did not take out the whole pack. Luckily they had full enough health that they lived through that shot. And we're able to get that last Tesla out. And from there, he's got probably a good 10 to 12 hogs left for cleanup. A couple wizards and his royals are still alive. And so going to be easy cleanup for a three-star uh, right there. So really nice job there. And again, congratulations to all of our Town Hall 9s uh, with those three-star attacks and even those who got some of the twos up high um, and taking care of business right away. I don't think we had hardly any really terrible attacks that we had to clean up on our Town Hall 9s, which allowed these um, three-star attempts, these more aggressive uh, three-star attempts on these lower bases. And you, as you will notice, though, uh, these three-star attacks, for the most part, except for maybe that Dragoon, um, but all of these were not just cookie cutter, you know, go wipe, go wee wee attacks. They took some thought and planning and some customization of the armies. And so keep that in mind as you're working towards becoming a three star player is that uh, you need to be creative sometimes. You need to uh, expose weaknesses in enemy bases and uh, 
you kind of think outside of the box sometimes to make the three star happen. For those who do, you see the results. So great job, guys. And remember, uh, Town Hall 8 uh, section of the video will be coming as well. This is the All Father signing out.